Hello, amazing people. Welcome back. It's your girl UJ aka Mami Ekwa. So on today's video, I'll be talking about the tree language. The tree language is generally spoken in Ghana. Tree has gained a certain level of international recognition and visibility due to the global spread of Ghanaian music and culture. Many Ghanaian musicians in genres such as high life, hip life use tree in their lyrics which has helped to introduce the language to audience around the world. True is also used in several African literature, including poetry and novels. Over time, I've seen a lot of white people coming to Ghana and a lot of white people speaking the tree language. And I'll be sharing on this video today, videos of white ladies, white men singing with the true language. True language has been recognized internationally globally it has gained so many visibilities due to most of the Ghanaian musicians are making use of this tree language in their music that is the reason why you see that the tree language is going global so let's take a look at a video of a white lady singing a Ghanaian song with the tree language then we'll come back and react on this video Please guys, if this is your first time coming across this video, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, turn the post notification to be notified whenever I post amazing content. Let's take a look at this video, then we'll come back and react. Wow. Wow, this is so nice. Oh. Make us say, Wow, me thou I say, into me free mark, mem, and never margin any name. Make us say, me thou will see. You could see the joy on her face while singing in the tree language. Why tree is not among the most widely spoken languages in the world, it is recognized internationally as an important language especially within the west african region it is one of the official language of ghana and also recognized as a minority language in several neighboring countries including ivory coast and togo tree has gained a certain level of international recognition and visibility due to the global spread of ghanaian music and culture a lot of white people have seen online singing and dancing to the tree music why singing they are dancing to it because they love the language when i say ghana as a country has gone global when i say the people of ghana are taking this tree language to another level please do not doubt i've seen so many Ghanaians in diaspora they have not been home for 20 years 30 years 40 years but they still speak the tree language they still hold the language in high esteem I've seen so many people that they gave birth to their kids in diaspora, not in Ghana. But their kids can speak the tree language. I'm going to be playing another video of the white people dancing and singing the tree song. To tell you how unique this language is and how welcoming and beautiful the country ghana is that is the reason why you see a lot of white people here in ghana because they have embraced the culture they love the culture they love the language and a lot of white people in diaspora are studying this tree language as a course let me play this video then we'll come back to react to the video They even got the claps, how the Ghanaians clap. Hey, Charlie, this is amazing. This is so good to see. The highlight of this video to me is the happiness while singing the tree song. The joy they have in their hearts singing this tree song. Another unique feature of tree is the way in which it incorporates aspects 
of traditional African spirituality and religion. Many tree words and concepts have their roots in this belief system and the language is closely tied to many local customs and practices. Tree is not spoken by a majority of people outside of West Africa. It is still recognized as culturally and linguistically significant and remains an important part of the region's cultural heritage. For those Ghanaians that are in diaspora that are not speaking their language, just take a look at those white people speaking the tree language coming to Ghana to visit Ghana and a lot of white people are learning the tree language. So if you're a Ghanaian living in diaspora, this is the time for you to stand up and hold up to your tree language because it is recognized globally. A lot of people want to be associated with the people of Ghana. A lot of people want to be associated with the tree language. A lot of white people, not just white people, other African countries are learning tree language as a course in the university and other people are learning tree language not just as a cause, but for the love of Ghana. If you're an Iganian, please, this is a wake up call for you all. Learn this tree language, hold this tree language in high esteem because a lot of people are paying money to learn this. A lot of people are coming down to Ghana to get a tutor to teach their kids how to speak the tree language. For those people in other African countries that are always looking down on Ghana, just take a look at this video and tell me, for a country, for people to be coming to this country to learn the language, it means it is so important to learn this language. So for my people, my brothers and sisters, my Nigerian people and other African countries that is always saying ordinary Ghana, small Ghana, Ghana of yesterday. It is high time you stop calling our almighty Ghana, our precious Ghana, a small country or calling Ghana an ordinary country. Because look at the development that is coming into the country. A lot of white people are coming in here to develop the country. They are coming in here to invest their money here. They are coming in here to learn the language because they want to feel among the locals. They want to be associated with the people of Ghana. I don't know what you think about this video. Please, I want to see your comments below the comment section. Tell me what you feel about this video. If you're a Ghana Ghanaian in diaspora, how well can you speak your tree language to your kids? How well do your kids know how to speak the tree language? Please drop your comments below the comment section and tell me why are those people coming to Ghana? What makes the language so unique? I want to know also from my subscribers. I've given my reasons here why the Sri language is so unique. And again, if you've not subscribed to my channel, please and please subscribe to my channel. Give the video a thumbs up. Turn the post notification to be notified whenever I post amazing content. A lot of my subscribers are watching me they have not subscribed they are not liking my videos please i need your likes so that youtube can help recommend this video to many viewers to many people in the world to many Ghanaians are in diaspora because let them know how to speak the true language because the white people are coming down here just look at the face the smile on your faces learning the true language please help me share this video and please you can support my channel by sending me a super thanks is a way of showing appreciation to my channel thank you and god bless you let's take a look at this video again a white lady singing and dancing with happiness in her heart singing the Ghanaian song let's take a look at this video then we'll come back and react Tree is global. So to me overall 
Chui is a unique and fascinating language that reflects the rich cultural traditions of the Akan people. Its tonal system, proverbs, and spiritual vocabulary all makes it a rich and interesting language to learn and study. I don't know what you think about this video. Please drop your comments. I want to see your comments, my Ghanaian people. What do you think about the white people embracing the Chui language? Please drop your comments in the comment section and tell me what you feel about foreigners coming into Ghana and learning the Chui language. Please guys don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe and turn the post notification to be notified whenever I post amazing content. I've come to the end of this video. See you in my next video. Bye.